Hi, everyone. Hi, Anamore Beauty. Hi, Sensor Ray. How's everyone doing? If you're new here, my name is Aileen. This is not my normal setup, but we're going to do what we got to do. How's everyone doing? I miss you guys. This is the first time I see my lights, like my studio lights. <laughs> Hi, Christy. Happy Saturday. Hi, Lynette. You guys, I hope to start filming. Does it sound too echoey? Hi, Tracy. I hope to start filming, but I'm trying to figure out because the Airbnb is very open. So I feel like there's too much of an echo. Let me know if the sound is okay or you think I should put on my headphones. How's everyone doing? I'm excited. Hey, Jennifer. How's everyone doing? How's your Saturday? Hubby took the kids to the outlets. So I was like, we're just going to do what we got to do. There's an echo. Let me see if it sounds better with this. It's very open. It's like, that's a bad thing about open spaces. Give me one second. I'm jealous. Don't be jealous. It's chilly here today. Hi, Cynthia. Is that better? Let me know if that's better. Let me try this one. Because I believe that's the one with the speaker. Oh, Christy, and congratulations to Christy on the 1,000 subscriber giveaway winner. I found, so I have all my totes right here. Like this is what all my makeup is in and I haven't been able to find anything. And I was able to find that Chantecaille mask. Now I just got to find, okay, it's better. A box big enough to ship it to you in. So let's get started, y'all. I did some shopping. So when I first moved here, I believe it was that same weekend. I got here October 14th. And October 15th and 16th, I hit the outlets and the stores. And I will have everything. So, like, some things I can link and some I can't. So, I will make sure everything's linked right after the live. But let's get started. I'm trying not to move because I don't want the speaker to, like, rub. So, I found a pair of Ferragamo sunglasses for $100. It was $99 at Saks Off Fifth. Oh, they're not in here. They're in my purse. I've been wearing them. Please hold. Luckily, the purse is nearby. <laughs> Cynthia, is it cold in Atlanta? I bet it's cold. It's chilly here today. It's 61, 63, something like that. Nothing major. Like I have on a sweater, but I have my sleeves rolled up. Here are the sunglasses. Oh, they cute. What do y'all think? I think these are so cute. And Saks Off Fifth has so many Ferragamo glasses. And they're all like $99. Like, they're sturdy. They're not too heavy. And I like more of the, <clears throat> they are cute. I don't like the ones that have like the little rubber, even though I barely put them up on my hair because I don't want to stretch the legs. If I like do because I have to do something real quick, I don't like those little rubber things that hang out. I forget what they're called because then they get tangled in your hair. So yes, I am loving them. I've been wearing them in my little house hunting. Yes. They are, they have a lot of detail, like, let me see. And they're just cute. It looks like a little bow, kind of. Too, too cute. So, yeah, I'm currently in the Airbnb until we find a home. It's in the works. So, I've been MIA while we house hunt. But it's been fun. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the nose pods, they hurt. They leave indentations. If you lift the glasses up, 
they get stuck in your hair. Hi, Fortunata Hope. So I'm just going to like just pick something up and show you because there's fashion and there's beauty. But I was able to. So this is a pair of Valentino sandals. And they usually retail for $360. And I got them for $179.99. But let me see. They're like a beige blush color. Aren't these cute? I have to put some outfits together and take pictures, but they'll definitely match with what I'm wearing today. But these are super cute. So this is leather and this is like metal. Yeah, they're cute. And I got another pair. I believe the other pair was $1.99. But I got these at Saks Off Fifth too. Yes, I love this like blush color. Absolutely love it. So I got another pair. But the other pair are more expensive because they, although I've worn them. So although they're the same, like this is like furry with the print. And then the V for Valentino is gold. I wore these all weekend. I went to Miami to go see, um, thank you, to go see someone that's like family. She helped me raise my oldest. Um, she was the house sitter, I mean the babysitter while I was at um, going to school and working because I had him so young. Hi, Marsha. And um, she fell ill, so I went to Miami. And when I went to Miami, my mom threw my son a surprise birthday party because she felt bad that his birthday was smack in the middle of our move. They are cute. So let's move on to our Beautylish order. The Beautylish order I did during the, um, what was it, gift card event? So I picked up the RCMA Premier Liquid Foundation. I really just chose something to get that my full hundred dollars. Oh, I'm gonna have to shake this up. This doesn't look good in the bottle. Does anybody see that? It's like separated. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm shaking and it's not. Let me see, because the camera's backwards. I'm not sure if the camera's picking that up. But, yeah, I saw your your replay, Sunsaray. Yeah, that's not, that's kind of funky. But, yes, I picked that up in the shade, what shade is this? N230. So, I got that. Came with a sample. I don't even know what this is. Pretty big sample like substantial size I will let you know Jennifer I'm interested after seeing Wayne Goss's video Christoph Robin it's a fast a mask regenerating mask with rare prick, prickly pear seed oil okay y'all know I'm finicky with my skincare but if we're gonna be honest let's be honest during this whole move, I went probably two weeks where all I did was wash my face and moisturize. Like, that was it. And I was lucky if I did that. And I decided it was that time to jump on the bandwagon and get some Sonia G brushes. I do know that you have to wash these before you use them, so I have not washed them. I was like, I'll show everyone what I got, and then we will... We'll look at them. So this is the the Worker Pro, which is like a flat but fluffy. If that makes sense. So that's it's more flat. So that's a nice one. Sonia G. I went in. <laughs> yes, I was like, I haven't tried Sonia G. Everybody talks about them. This is the Pencil Pro. So I was like, I gotta try it, I gotta try. Let's see, they feel very nice. 
I like that the eye brushes, I have like touched them. They're not as fluffy and soft. So when they're really fluffy and soft and you're trying to blend out, you have to kind of like add a lot of pigment if they're just way too fluffy. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> yeah, supposedly they work best if you wash them first. Um, so it's like they have enough density to really pack on that pigment to use less shadow. Um, this is the Cheek Pro. Yes, Christy, I've held off to, I was like, is it worth it? Is it worth it? I don't know. And I just figured the gift card event was the perfect time. So I was able to get a $100 gift card for my next purchase. Hi, Maria. Sunday morning over there, jeez. So the, so the time already changed over there, Maria. This is the Builder Pro. I'm so excited for these. You have no idea. I will be washing them. I got a fan brush. Well, the fan brush came with a set that I pick up. I'm not one to use fan brushes often, um, but this one seems very substantial. Hold on, let me, oh, it came taped. Okay. Yeah, it's not as, it has more density, even though it's soft than other fan brushes I've used in the past. Beautiful spring day. It's a beautiful fall day here. <laughs> Trying not to jump on that expansive bandwagon. Honestly, this is the one brush. This is the one brush that I'm like, when I try Sonia G, I'm gonna get that brush. And this is the base one. Just because if you prefer a brush versus a sponge for your foundation, so it's more dense, but it is dual fiber, so it's like you have your shorter bristles. It's more dense at the bottom than at the top. It's, I can't wait to give this a try. This is the one that I was like, okay, if I'm gonna buy any, that's the one I'm gonna get for sure. I love the handles. They're just very, very good craftsmanship. Definitely can't complain on how they feel, the weight, the bristles, all of that is good. This is the Face Pro, so it's angled, it's fluffier, it's not as dense. Hi, Steven. So that's that one. This one is, this is the, oh, geez, I'm not even going to try. Can you read that? I something. I don't know. I N O C H I G E. Not even going to try. Not going to butcher it, butcher it, but it's like a domed. It ha does have some density, and the bristles are smaller and they get longer. That, that right there, Sunsore. Hi, Miss. Hi, Miss V. Next is the another blender pro at the oh no. So this is like a buffing brush, a blending brush, a little more domed. I hear they're so much better when you wash them since the race. So I will do that. I will, I will. And this is a detailed pro, which is another one like a blending brush, but it is fluffier and a little larger than the Blending Pro, just for comparison there. Oop. So I'm excited. And the last one is, oh, this one reminds me of like the 13 or 14, the Crease Pro. Nice crease brush. Definitely smaller, more density to pack on the pigment. I'm excited. as they bloom. Yes, yes, I'm excited. I'm excited. So that was my Beautylish order. 
so let's move on. Let me try to move this. All right, where do I start? We'll grab a Louis bag. So I went to Louis twice. So this was my first purchase. And I got this to match my Neverfull. So it's the exact same design as my Neverfull. And it's like one of the long wallets. I believe this one's the Sarah. And I didn't get it with color because the inside of my purse is brown. I mean, no, I'm sorry, it's red. So I just got this one brown. So you can really wear it with anything. But I love the compartments. What a brush haul, honey. <laughs> I know. And I did, I'm glad, I'm happy to say that I was going to pick up more brushes and possibly more, um, what size? I have the medium size of the Never Fools. So let me see if I can get it here. So I have the medium size. I, and even though the large size, it's only like one or $200 more. It literally looks like a beach bag. Like it looks like a weekend bag. I don't find it at least for me and my size because I'm only 5'2". I don't find it flattering, you can say. So this is the medium. Hold on, I'll stand. This is the medium. And I think it's flattering. I do have in it like the organizer that you could get for like $20 on, on Amazon. So I just leave that organizer in there because I do have like Michael Kors totes that are this exact same size and I could just swap that organizer from one to the other. Oh, you got the large. Yeah, the large really looks, unless you're like tall, like it's just not my favorite, but to each their own. Yes, I love the lining too. Yeah, I got the red. If I get the white, never full, then I'll get the pink. Um, but with the brown, I wanted the red. And then that's why I got the matching wallet. And I want to say this is the Sarah. Let me look. Let me see if it's on the receipt. And that one, it retails for $7.20. Mm. Yes, the Sarah, the Sarah Long Wallet. So that one, and it does have like this on the back. And again, you can put cards right here. You could put cards on this side, on this side. There's another pocket here and it has the zipper. Yes, it is the perfect size for the organizer. And you could buy the organizer based on the, the size of the purse that you have. But they're, for mine, I want to say was $20. Oh, you like the setup. Thank you. I didn't know if to do it here or in like the breakfast area. So the breakfast area is like a coffee bar and a bistro table. But then my feet wouldn't touch the ground. And if I bend over, I'm going to fall. Girl, it's a situation, you know, because it's one of those tall tables. So I was like, yeah, right here is fine. And, you know, can't go can't go wrong with the Louis packaging. So I got that and I haven't switched the wallet because I wanted you guys to see it first. Where else do we go? OK, Lisa Eldridge. Hi, Stephanie. Okay, so first, with the foundation cards, I had I tried four, 13, 14, 15, 16. 15 is my shade, and I did order it today. So I don't think I was, by the time I got to the Lisa Eldridge launch, I want to say almost everything was sold out. So I just got, like, liners for either lipsticks that I do have, or I picked up existing shades. 
I don't even know the names of the of the new shades, but I either got existing liners for existing shades that I have or liners for new lipsticks that I ordered. So I got three velvet lipsticks and I was like, you know what? I'm going to start stepping outside the box. So I got velvet morning, which is a red. I'm sure you guys have all seen it. I believe it's her more brightest red. Let me let me pull it down before it breaks. It's like a red orange and it's bright. Unlike ribbon, which I believe is more of a blue undertone. That's a very pretty like orange red. Oh God, don't say that Ava. I just ordered the foundation. I didn't even look. I was like, I don't even want to look. I don't want to look because I surely would have gotten and I want to say, yeah, so I got morning the liner as well. I already placed my order, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I want to say it's an orange red. You can let me know if you disagree, but if you have it, but that's the liner as well. It's a perfect match. And then I picked up, there's one that I picked up that I thought of Cynthia, because Cynthia I've known for a very long time and she loves her red lip. Oh, which one is it? Is it ribbon or dragon? Let me see. Ribbon. So ribbon is more of the blue toned red. It's like a red, red. I gotta go, oh, you see Ava, now you got me thinking, oh, should I go see? So yes, ribbon swatch next to morning, you can definitely see the difference in the red. You can see more of the orange here versus the blue undertone of this one. And I got the matching liner for, did I? No, I didn't. I did not get the matching liner for ribbon. I did not. And then I got Dragon. And I did get the matching liner for Dragon. Hi, Kelly. Oh, I knew you would love it, Cynthia. I knew you would. So Dragon is more of a rusty red, like a brick rusty red. And you can see that there. This is Dragon. Yes. They're all really pretty. Cinnabar was all sold out. It was a shade. I was like, you know what? I'm willing to try it. Out blowing leaves and listening. Girl, do you, honey? Do you? And then, oh, Maria, you would love Lisa Eldridge. You really would. If you like a long lasting, comfortable matte lip, I have one on today. I don't need a fair, I have on a fair, but it will last a long time and it's comfortable, it's not drying. So that's the liner and those are both dragon. And then I got, for shades that I already have, I got the liner for blush, Carnival, Beauty, and Fawn. Oh, it's okay, Daphne. You can always catch the replay. You missed sunglasses, Sonia G brushes, a Louis wallet, and we're talking about Lisa Eldridge. That's where we're at. I thought I brought a napkin, just in case I swatched. Don't mind me, a girl's a hot mess because I want to show you the clothes I got. And, oh, and you miss Valentino sandals. I don't want my red lipstick to get all over my clothes. One second. Oh. 
Okay, sorry. The lipsticks are pretty. Look, I wet this napkin. I wet this napkin. And the, look at the liners. The lipsticks budged, but the liners did not. See? There you go. That's my first uh, swatch ever with those liners. But I want to try to get it off before I dirty the clothes. Oh, I missed the idea. We love a luxury lipstick. Oh, I don't have Hermes. I have Tom Ford. I have Lisa Eldridge. I have Gucci. I have Pat McGrath. But yeah, that's a good idea, Steven. Sorry, I had to catch up. Okay. All right. Let's get into some clothes. So is it me or ivory jeans are like hard to come by? And I've been like on a struggle bus looking for ivory jeans. So I went to the express outlet. And I found some, and I swear I almost lost my mind. I was so excited. Like, I have so many ivory sandals that you can wear with blue jeans, but, you know, my whole matching situation. So I got a pair <laughs> of ivory jeans from Express. These are from the outlet. They're high-rise skinny. I like for high rupee. I like for when I sit down, I have, oh, I miss your face too. I have like an inch of space or more in my jeans. So like, I don't get a roll. Is it, I don't know. It's just me. So they tend to be big in the waist, but fit me good everywhere else. So these are a four. I could have easily gone for a two and they fit like perfect, but I went for a four. I was like, you whatever. You know, you dry them, they snug up a little bit, but I love, love, love the bottom. Bye, Steven. <laughs> but yeah, I just swear that ivory jeans are very difficult to come by. And since I like to wear white, and I really don't like to wear white after Labor Day, I figured why not go ivory and just wear them, you know? The winter white so this is a shirt is it oh it's a bodysuit and it's like you see the print it's like mock neck it's not really turtle it doesn't go up that far as a, as far as a turtleneck but it is a bodysuit and it has gray ivory and pink super pretty and you can wear that with the ivory jeans but i bought it more for the pink shorts so these are a pair of pink shorts you can wear them longer you can roll them up this is exactly how they were in the store but and these i got a four too three ways uncuffed to customize yeah, and then they're just like the pants where they're like unhemmed. So they're cute. Shorty high rise, you know, for the short girls. Express comes through for the short girls. And if you're shorter than me, they also have petite. Hi, Ronnie. Yes, yes, Ronnie, it's like, it's hard. It's hard to find. You're a New Zealand size 6'8". Oh. <laughs> I, I, and I don't see myself as tiny, I, you know. But you know, we're all more difficult on ourselves. And I think I've had this shirt and I've shown you guys in like, I think it was like a C, no, it was a green. It was a green, and then I found it in this, like, this is more like a light pink, and this is like a blush with gray in it. It's really pretty. 
They're very airy. They're so comfortable. It's like you can throw it off the shoulder and they're not like full crop. They go to like right to the top of your pockets. Super cute, but super comfortable. Yeah. And I used to not wear colored jeans. I used to think in my head that if you got a certain age, you shouldn't wear colored jeans because you look like older trying to be young. And then one day I was like, ah, no, that's not the case, Aileen. That's in your own head. <laughs> so that's just me. <laughs> and then lastly, I picked up this, these pair of shorts with the matching top. These are very thin, um, shorty high rise shorts in the size small, super cute, comfortable. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. And the top that I got with it is like this. I like that this, you can either tie it and make it tighter around the waist or make it less tight. Depends how you want to dress it up. But this is a little bit more sheer. So it's like, I don't care. I'll throw on a black bra and I don't care what anybody else sees after that. But they're very cute. They come with, um, you can buy them with like very thin black tank tops. But as long as my lady bits are not showing, I could care less if you can see through it. <laughs> That's the last outfit that I got. And I love Express. If you like become a member, you can like pile up points and use them at checkout and you can like pile up points on top of coupons. Like I've gotten shoes for $5. I've gotten shirts for $2. Like use your points, but I'll make sure, I don't think I can link stuff from the outlet, but I'll link express and everything else uh, that I can um, after the live. So this is a pair, I don't remember what I paid for them, of Dolce Vita shoes. I did wear them once already. They're very comfortable. They're black. They're not too high, but they do have like this design. I got these at Saks Off Fifth. Super, super comfortable. They have them where the strap is like rope, fluffy rope. And they're amazing. They're beautiful. They have them in pink, in ivory, in black in like just this very unique teal aqua color. And my best friend got those, but I really need to, yes, yes, you do need to check out Express because honey, like if you, I've said this trick a hundred times before, but with Express, make sure you have your account, make sure you add everything you want to cart. So I add to cart everything I want and, and some even if I know I'm not gonna get all that. And then you just leave, just leave. And you'll start getting emails, buy it today for 20% off each item. Buy it, then a few days later, buy it today for 30% off each item. And then out of nowhere, you'll get one for BOGO, like buy one, get one free. And then you stack a coupon and then you use your points and then bam, you made out. So next, which one do you wanna see first? My Ferragamo bag or the Louis bag? <laughs> well, th I like their shirts. Like I like like this sweater is from Express. I believe it was not last year, the year before, like 2019. But I got this one in this color. I got it in red, and they're very like it doesn't matter what size I am. It's always gonna fit. So it's like you know, and it's like oh, I'm too short to show you. Hold on. <laughs> It's um, shorter in the front, longer in the back, really cute. It's very, it's thick though. So even though it has these cutouts on the shoulder, it, it warms you up, definitely warms you up. It's like, I'm sweating. <laughs> but that's, those are the type of shirts I like to buy because if I'm gonna gain or I lose, I know it's still gonna fit. As long as it fits in this vicinity, it's gonna fit everywhere else. But that's just, <laughs> I don't dress tight really. I just, unless it's like for special something, something. Like you are gonna see me snatched for the gods, you know? So this Ferragamo bag, let's start with Ferragamo. 
is normally $2,800. And I found it on sale for, I want to say it was 14. 14, it's 2,700. I paid 14.99. It is so pretty. It is 100% leather. So there you see, and it's still on sale and I'll link it, but 2,700, I paid 14.99. It's so pretty. So these look blue because it still has like the little protectants on it. And I'll have to peel them off. But oh my God, like she's so pretty. So this opens, uh, this flaps up and it has a zipper. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. And she smells so good. So it does have this front pocket. It is very pretty. It is very pretty. My husband saw it. He was like, is that a, did you just walk in here with a Hermes bag? I said, no, <laughs> no, I did not. <laughs> but it still has the little, it has the gold. And then you open it by latching it down. And then it opens out. And then it also has a strap with this, what is it, a pochette? on the inside you can either wear it as a crossbody or sorry I'm trying not to drop it or you can clip this into the purse as another inside uh, pocket thank you Ronnie and let me take all this stuff out so you can clip that inside and make another pocket or you can just wear it like this but it is nice. It is so pretty. The inside is 100% leather as well. This the side that does not have anything on it is where you can clip the pochette to. And yes. And then this side you have pockets. Not a zipper, but pockets. It's so pretty. And if you strap, put the large strap like one straps on one side one straps on the other to prevent it if you are carrying it from opening really wide yes 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 and then if you strap this in it and this is just one big you know like a push head and you can clip it in let me clip it in it's so pretty so pretty and it smells so good Okay, so you can put the strap on the pochette or, and wear it as a crossbody, or you can take it off. So here I clipped the pochette. Uh, floor motor. Aw, see, I don't, I don't carry a bunch of stuff in my purse. Oh, with the motif. Yeah. So since I don't carry a whole bunch, it the weight of this one doesn't bother me. Just like my never full is never really full or heavy. Like I put that organizer in it to give it shape so it doesn't flop because I don't keep it full enough to keep it shape. And then I'm not big on floral bags, but just because I'm like, when am I going to wear it? And then you can adjust it. But, and I love the shape. I love the shape when it's closed, but let me close it real quick. Let me put all this stuff back in here. But I was so excited. I was so excited when I found it. I found it at Saks Off Fifth. And then you close it the same. You just push this through it. Boop. Oh, I hear deliveries. I hear bling. UPS, FedEx, or USP. No, USPS. Yeah, today's Saturday. Somebody's scanning and leaving packages at the front door right now. <laughs> but that's it right there. I do love the color. It's, it's not pink pink. It's like a taupe. Very pretty. I like it. And last... I got a Louis bag. 
So I will show you the Louis bag. And where's she at? Oh, here she is. So I got a Louis bag in black. Thank you, Tracy. Yes, it is a pretty color. And then if you follow me on Instagram and you saw my stories, you may have seen a sneak peek on my date night of this bag. But it is the black. I believe it's the, oh gosh, what's the name of this one? The VB Pouchette, I want to say. Let's see. I'll show you it in a second. I'm just trying to get you the name. It is the Vivian. Vivian, is that it? Yeah. So it is black. She's so cute. I did get the medium. So the large is substantially larger, but I didn't like the shape. It has the gold hardware. The snap closure is very strong, like very strong. So it has a pocket here, pocket on the inside. It fits a lot. The small is more like a larger, flat, long wallet. And then it comes with the chains and you can wear it like this with the two chains. Isn't she cute? Or you can do the one chain and wear it crossbody. And I'm I'm too short for the camera to capture it, but no, Louis Vuitton is not from the outlet. The, the Louis Vuitton was from Louis Vuitton. I wish Louis Vuitton had an outlet, girl. Where are we going? I would live there. I do have to go to the Gucci outlet. Um, I believe it's two hours away where when I lived in Atlanta, it was only 45 minutes, but it has like this suede inside. It's just so pretty. I love it. You could hear it clamp, like it just clamps, but it has like, these are not, um, embossed is lifted. What's the other word? It's not embossed. It's, you know what I mean? It's inward. <laughs> yeah, no, they do not have one, but I like that bag. I believe this one was, oh God, $25.70. Yes, Louis increased their prices, by the way. Imprinted, imprinted. Yes, the Louis Vuitton is imprinted. So like, a lot of people, because my best friend was like, I would never be able to tell the difference between a real and a fake. And I'm like, well, Louis Vuitton uses one entire sheet of leather to make their bag and go all the way around. So if you're ever shopping like at a re like at a Poshmark or Macari or one of those things. So the front of the bag is always going to have the Louis Vuitton where right side up, right? But when they flip that leather, it's going to be upside down on the back where that leather piece of leather ends. So you can tell, you'll be able to tell like that. That'll be your first giveaway. It'll, it'll be like that on the never full if you get the LVs on it, but yeah, they have, oh, thank you, Kelly. Yeah, they had some really nice ones. I don't, I specifically went for the one that I posted on, what is it? Oh, I posted it on my Christmas wish list for last year. So I went in there, I was like, that's it. I'm gonna get my bag. And yes, and the code inside, but I'm talking about first, like seeing it as soon as you see it, you can tell that'll be your first giveaway. But yeah, you obviously can look inside and look at the skew and all that stuff. But when you're shopping online, they don't always show you that. 
Um, so I went in there specifically for the bag that was in my Christmas holiday wish list for 2020 and for the shoes. So they didn't have either. They didn't have either. And I tried on the shoes, the boots in another color, and they they were just not for me. I want those brown ones. And I've been stocking, but nobody that bought them last year is selling yet. They are, but in a size six. I need a seven and a half. <laughs> but, but that is it. That is it. That is all. I do have the Gucci palette, but I think I, I don't think I showed it in my last video, but I did like mention it like in a little, I only buy luxury makeup, so I'm living. <laughs> See, I will buy luxury shoes, bags, and belts um and makeup obviously but as far as clothing i don't tend to buy luxury clothing because it could get messed up really easily and then i can't sell it so excuse me if i can sell it and make my money back i can usually do that with shoes purses or belts and then just go buy the next thing i want like i mean i have these I have a Gucci, I have a few. I will be selling some as soon as I move to my new house and unpack, um, but for now, yep, that is it. Thanks, Jen. Yeah, clothes go out of style, you have to wash them, even though I don't dry anything. So I hang dry everything and I steam and iron everything that I wash before I put it away. Anything can happen. Anything could happen. I could be eating some red beans with rice and some good old four fried pork. And then there goes my shirt. There goes my whole situation. And I can't fix it. Or, you know, you start to fix it and it starts getting the material doesn't look the rest as around it. Like you could tell it a situation occurred there. So, yeah, I just don't do the clothes. I'm looking out for what you sell. <laughs> well, I already have somebody that has first dibs, so I'm pretty sure um, I will announce my Macari or my Poshmark once they take a look and shop my closet. Oh, no, it's okay. It's okay, Tammy. But that's it, you guys. That is all I got. I don't want to say all because that was a lot, but you know what I mean. And then, okay, so the the Dolce Vita shoes were, they usually 120 and I paid 59 and I think everything else I told you what it was. Yes. Yep. So yeah. Just slide over and get it. <laughs> oh yes. Don't forget to thumbs up. But I've missed you guys now that I got my light set up. Thank you for letting me know about the echo. I'll probably, I'll have to play around um, and just find different places and do little clips. And as soon as I find an area that I can film, I have a lot to get through. And yeah, that is it. Thank you all so much for coming. Until next time, don't forget, we're all perfectly imperfect. I love you guys. Bye.